is consuming meat aging your skin? For decades, researchers have battled over whether vegetarian or vegan diets are superior to diets containing meat. And more recently, research has delved into the impact of nutrition, including meat, on skin health and skin aging. While many people around the world consume meat-containing diets, you may be surprised at what effects meat has on the youthfulness of the skin. Hi, I'm Brandon, an anti-aging enthusiast just like you, bringing to you anti-aging research, tips, and vlogs every single week. If anti-aging topics are of interest to you, please consider subscribing down below. I would love to share this space with you. Meat has been part of the human diet since the beginning, and it doesn't look like it's going to be completely disregarded anytime soon. In fact, roughly 86% of people say that their diet contains meat in some form and at some point of the day. While meat is a really good source of complete protein and does contain some vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, there are also hidden dangers associated with meat, particularly with respect to skin and skin aging. Let's dive a little deeper on the effects of meat on the skin and what you can do to protect your skin if you decide to continue consuming meat. The number one effect that meat may have on the skin and skin aging is its effect on glycation. Cooking meat at high temperatures, such as grilling or frying, can generate something called advanced glycation end products, or aptly named AGEs. These products are a group of compounds that are formed when sugars react to a protein like collagen or even lipids. This process, known as glycation, can occur just naturally in the body. It's not always induced by diet, but it is accelerated by factors such as diet, high blood sugar levels, oxidative stress, and inflammation. I've talked a bit about glycation in my previous videos, but these glycation end products, these AGEs, have the potential to build up in the skin over time, resulting in the cross-linking of collagen and elastin fibers in the skin, which are pivotal proteins for ensuring the protection of skin elasticity and firmness. The presence of AGEs, glycation in the skin, may promote the aging process by increasing the development of wrinkles, sagging, fine lines, as well as uneven skin tone. Research shows that cooking meat at high temperatures using dry heat methods, such as roasting or grilling, appear to significantly increase AGEs, glycation, more significantly than moist cooking methods. The second effect meat has on skin and potentially skin aging is that it activates something called mTOR, or mechanistic target of rapamycin. mTOR is a protein kinase that plays a crucial role in governing cellular processes such as growth, metabolism, and protein synthesis. And this is done in response to diverse environmental as well as nutritional signals. Meat is a rich source of protein, and dietary protein is a key regulator of mTOR activity. The amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which are abundant in meat, are potent activators of mTOR signaling. Now, what does mTOR have to do with skin aging? Research shows that disruption of mTOR signaling may promote collagen production, leading to improved skin elasticity and reduction in the appearance of wrinkles. This suggests that mTOR plays a powerful role in skin aging, and inhibiting it to some degree or reducing its activation through dietary means could be key for skin anti-aging. Activation of the mTOR signaling pathway has been associated with cellular senescence, which is a state of irreversible cell cycle arrest. An accumulation of senescent cells in the skin contributes to aging by impairing tissue repair and regeneration processes. This may partially explain the results of the research study that I mentioned previously, that inhibiting or reducing mTOR activity or signaling that pathway may help to reduce skin aging. Therefore, the theory is reducing the intake of certain amino acids, which are abundant in protein, like the leucine, isoleucine, valine, reducing that protein from meat consumption may blunt the effect of that mTOR and contribute to not only skin anti-aging, but also potentially even longevity. Another impact that meat has on skin is its impact on inflammation. Inflammation is a frequently recognized contributor to skin aging, as well as aging just on a cellular level. And a relatively new term coined inflammaging specifically characterized this prominent factor that contributes to the visible aging process. However, not all inflammation can be seen as detrimental. In fact, there is some benefits to some inflammation in the body and it balances out with the anti-inflammatory components in our diet. But the majority of individuals in today's world live a very sedentary lifestyle and they're engaging in activities, dietary activities that are contributing to inflammation and exacerbating it to a significant degree where it's overriding its any perceived or proposed benefit. However, the vast majority of people are leading sedentary lifestyles. They're eating too much sugar in the form of processed foods, too many refined carbohydrates, facing chronic stress, exposed to pollutants in the environment, drinking alcohol, 
alcohol, all of these contribute to and exacerbate inflammation much more so than, and in fact, overriding any perceived or proposed benefit of inflammation that it may have in the body. Meat, particularly grain-fed meat, contains a high amount of omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are deemed as more pro-inflammatory fatty acids compared to their counterpart. Omega-3 fatty acids, you still want a good balance because they sort of balance each other out in the terms of human health. But an imbalance of omega-6 fatty acids to omega-3 fatty acids can lead to more inflammation in the body, including the skin. Prolonged inflammation in the body can hasten skin aging. Additionally, meat can have an effect on the skin in terms of its lack of antioxidants. It's not super abundant in antioxidants unless you're talking about liver or organ meats, which are high in vitamin A or retinol. And when you compare it to plant foods, vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, spices, meat contains an overall lack of antioxidants, polyphenols, anthocyanins, flavanols, things that are going to enrich your skin, protect it, and improve the collagen and elastin in your skin. Antioxidants play a pivotal role in shielding the skin against UV, against pollutants in the environment. In fact, eating an antioxidant-rich diet through plants, things like carotenoids, for example, from tomato products or carrots, they can enrich your skin and provide an extra layer of protection, an extra boost of protection against one of the main drivers of skin aging, that being UV, UVA in particular. Now, carnivore diets have become increasingly popular in recent years, given that these diets significantly lack carbohydrates, which increase blood sugar and insulin, and they may also result in very rapid weight loss in some instances. However, this way of eating doesn't seem to be very sustainable, and while it does lack carbohydrates, which can be great for supporting healthy blood sugar and potentially even reducing glycation or those glycated end products in the skin, these carnivore diets contain fewer antioxidants than majority plant-based diets, and also if you're eating a carnivore diet rich in meat that is cooked at high temperatures, especially through those dry cooking methods, you're going to have that increased glycation. Another effect that meat may have on the skin, a skin aging and skin anti-aging, is its effect on methionine. Another aspect to consider when it comes to meat consumption and skin aging and skin anti-aging is methionine. Methionine is an essential amino acid. This is basically a building block of protein. It's found in high amounts in meat and fish, as well as eggs. I think it might also be found high in Brazil nuts. Although methionine is an essential amino acid, meaning you need it for your body to function and be healthy, and in certain quantities, methionine may serve as an antioxidant. Studies on rodents suggest that diets low in methionine may prolong the longevity or the lifespan. Although the underlying mechanism behind this longevity benefit of low methionine diets remains largely unknown. Methionine restriction appears to influence lifespan extension and metabolic health, partly by decreasing oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is one of those downstream effects of UV, pollution, or diet that contributes to skin aging. It happens, it's induced by all these factors and it contributes to that skin aging because the skin, if it, there's not enough antioxidants in the skin to protect itself, the oxidative stress is going to override it and contribute to that aging process. Now, the jury is still out on methionine restriction with respect to skin aging or skin anti-aging, I should say, because this amino acid could still have in conservative or you know essential amounts, significant beneficial effects for collagen and elastin. Methionine may also serve as a potent antioxidant against UV protection. Now I'm giving you mixed signals here. Methionine restriction has longevity benefits, but methionine might also protect the skin against UV and improve collagen. The Again, the jury is still out, but there are some research studies suggesting that glycine supplementation may mitigate or even block to a certain extent methionine toxicity. One study looked at glycine supplementation and found that in mice, this supplementation with glycine resulted in a statistically significant increase in lifespan and longevity. As such, researchers suggest that glycine supplementation may mimic to a certain extent methionine restriction or a low methionine diet and potentially provide those effects of methionine restriction without actually having to reduce methionine in the diet. That being said, I haven't really placed a lot of emphasis in my own dietary interventions to reduce methionine, but I have slowly started to supplement with glycine as well as NAT in part to mimic that low methionine diet and the benefits that may occur with that type of dietary intervention. And if you want to know more about glycine and NAC in that supplement, I have a video that I posted last week that you can go and check out after you watch this video. Now, all of these proposed effects that that meat consumption has on skin leads us to this question. Are vegetarian and vegan diets better for skin? We already know that most plant foods are significantly high in antioxidants, which can protect the skin and may even in certain instances, increase the collagen production in the skin. Vegetarian and vegan diets
diets, particularly raw vegan diets, are definitely much, much lower in AGEs, much lower in that glycation, unless they're eating a high amount of sugar. Also, vegan vegetarian diets, if they are plant-based, they tend to be a, a lot higher in fiber than more meat-based diets or diets containing meat, which can support healthy glucose levels, healthy blood sugar regulation. But just because someone follows a vegan or vegetarian diet doesn't necessarily mean that diet or that lifestyle is healthy. For instance, people who become vegan or vegetarians for only ethical reasons may not necessarily care about the health benefits that come along with a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. And therefore they may consume more junk food, processed foods that are technically vegetarian and vegan and not get those antioxidants that they need. So one could argue that a diet containing meat or even a carnivore type diet with some vegetables could be healthier than a vegetarian or vegan diet depending upon how you go about it. Also nutrition research is largely unclear as to whether a vegetarian and vegan diet is superior in terms of the health benefits, the anti-aging benefits to a conservative plant-based but meat containing diet. Just given the fact that vegetarians and vegans, if they definitely become vegetarians and vegans for health reasons and maybe even ethical reasons as well, there may just be associations between that and longevity or health because those people tend to maybe exercise more, drink more water, do stress reduction techniques, and just have a healthier lifestyle than the average or the general population. Now here are my takeaways when it comes to meat consumption and the skin, particularly with respect to skin aging and skin anti-aging. Meat has been and will continue to serve as a nutrient and calorie source, a food source for humans. And in my opinion, meat can be part of a healthy anti-aging lifestyle, an effective anti-aging lifestyle. Some meats like fish and organ meats, for example, are good sources of coenzyme Q10, which is an antioxidant, as well as vitamin A retinol. And both coenzyme Q10, CoQ10, and retinol are powerful antioxidants that can be enriched in the skin through consumption of those foods and may protect the skin against UV and pollution. Personally, I do consume meat and fish in very moderate quantities with a focus on fish in moderation just because of the, the mercury content. I choose smaller fish like sardines, which don't have as much time to accumulate the mercury and they're a lot, just a lot smaller, so they don't really accumulate as much. And I place a larger focus on incorporating as many plant-based foods, plants into my diet. I generally consume a whole foods diet with very minimal sugars, very low carbs, or at least low net carb type foods, foods that are high in fiber, protein, and healthy fats, monounsaturated fats, omega-3 fats, a good balance of omega-3s and omega-6s, just to support skin health and integrity and the youthfulness of the skin. However, the research that is available suggests that it may be prudent to at least reduce to a certain degree meat consumption just to reduce that AGE content in the diet while ensuring that all essential amino acids, all nutrient needs are met because essential amino acids may help to provide building blocks for collagen. Let me know down in the comments if there was anything I missed with regard to meat consumption and the skin, particularly with respect to anti-aging. Also, let me know down in the comments what you think about meat consumption and its effects on the skin and longevity. Me and others who are watching this video would love to hear your perspective on this topic. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful, share it with your friends and family, and please consider subscribing if you want to see more anti-aging videos like this every single week. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching. Bye.